15 years ago. A blonde kid from Finley via Assumption College played his first game of big time football. Brought the back turn beautifully, a Rovers goal. The bounce, evident in Shane Crawford's earliest steps, has never deserted him. Nor has the smile, the cheek, or the thrill of the contest. That is what match winning stuff's all about. 299 games later, we come here today to celebrate the career of a Hawthorne champion. To salute a footballer who has played the game the way we want it played. All heart. Oh, what a tackle by Crawford. All skill. Crawford! All crowning achievements. And significantly, all at the one club. Crawford steps inside the 50 and the champ's got a goal. I think I've put everything into it and um, I've made mistakes along the way, but I think it's all a part of the learning experience and making you, and I think that's definitely helped with the, the love that I have for the game and for the club now. Um, I don't think I would have had it as much as I do if I hadn't have been on a, a roller coaster ride. Australia, that's right. the Shane, Crawford. Shane Crawford's journey has deservedly brought him here. How fitting it would be if there was one even more significant landmark left for him to pass before the curtain falls on this wonderful career. He came to Hawthorne as an 18 year old. He still looks it. Sometimes he still acts it. But Michael Voss is one of your greatest rivals. I'd imagine it was serious business out on the field. Yes, it was. And I played on him in his first year of AFL football when I was in the back pocket and he was playing in the forward line. Also played on him in his prime when he won the Brownlow and he was just a fantastic runner. One of the hardest runners that I've ever played on in the game. And he's just been a, a fantastic ambassador for the Hawthorne Football Club and a really respected member of this team. Young son Charlie with him. Olivia, his partner, looking on as he celebrates his entry for his 300th game. But Hawthorne, of course, they talk about his meticulous preparation and uh, his running power, the centre part of uh, his great ability. Well, he's here at Aurora Stadium. He kicks along the line. Big fist at the back from Crow. Decisive fist over the line. And we'll get a boundary throw in on centre wing. It's not an easy ground on which to score. Just about every team that comes here finds that. It's got that little bit more space. Mitchell getting it out, but Begley steals it for Brisbane. But he's stolen from by Taylor to the 300 gamer Crawford for Franklin. And this time he's directly in front. And the distance from goal is modest. And the plaudits are with the 99 Brownlow medalist, the 300 gamer Shane Crawford. And this is where Brisbane can't afford to turn the ball over. There was tremendous pressure by Hawthorne. But what this does is it creates the one-on-one. -on -one. And that's what Brisbane are trying to avoid for the game against a pretty brilliant player. The hook is there. The kick is straight, though. And the Hawks have the first goal of the day. Together pretty well. Dalziel. Played a handful of games now. Begley again under pressure. Here it was who gave it up a moment ago and he's in trouble again. Hawthorne's ball. Free kick to Campbell Brown. The same contest. And you'll see the great tackle there. Pinned the arm. Incorrect. Now Notting. Now can someone snare this? Charman's there. Bradshaw is there. Crow prizes it away for the throw in. But there is. Most of the action has been at that Invermay Park end of the ground. We're up to Crowd. And the Hawks forced to really think about it here. Ellis now pumps long to Roughhead, who's come to the wing. Oh, brilliantly done. Two of them came at him. He threaded the eye of the needle, gives to Bateman, who delivers to Campbell Brown right in front. Jared Roughhead, the architect of that, that was quite brilliant.
Well, it was poor defence by Brisbane. Campbell Brown just ran straight past two defensive players for Brisbane and they let him go. He wins the contest on the wing, gets turned around. Camp, there's three players there for Brisbane that saw... I just can't believe that. He ran straight past them and dropped into that hole. Right in front. Shot that shouldn't be missed. Oh, that was a defender's kick. That was very tentative. He's angry with himself and he would be frightened. Headed for Mitchell, taken though by Adcock. His handball was poor, so another turnover. Ellis inside to Sewell, gets an accommodating bounce and now kicks towards a one-on-one. -on -one. Crawford, oh gee, mismatch there with Merritt. Merritt did well and Crawford's got three to beat. Did pretty well. He's got four to beat. And does well to get it over for a boundary throwing. Great fighting effort there from Shane Crawford and gets the applause from this adoring crowd at Aurora Stadium. 34 in a month from today, Shane Crawford, but a bit of youth left in him yet. Yeah, see, there have been a lot of turnovers, but that's the pressure in their game whatsoever. And when they do, Brisbane are tackling fiercely well, and they get the break here. Brilliant Mitchell for Franklin. He's away. Can he go all the way? He's got nothing to go to oh, other than Rioli. It is a brilliant kick. Someone takes the game on. Someone takes the game on. And look what happens. Who's been taking the last 18 marks before that mark? From just absolutely incredible. But this is what I'm talking about. For Hawthorne to be able to win, they're just playing a game style that Brisbane are going to play. They haven't kicked a goal for about 35 minutes. Cyril Rioli breaks the drought for the Hawks. Got an extended interview with Shane Crawford on the uh, occasion of his 300th game. Pre-recorded with Luke Darcy coming up during the break. The Hawks through Ellis with the footy. Williams sold the dummy well, centred well. It's high, it's hovering. Bounces well for Ladson. Franklin there for him. 45 out. Some more magic from Buddy. Oh, he is the eighth wonder of the world. He's a freak. 